What's going on guys, Jimmo here. And uh, today we're gonna be painting a Chevy Cruze behind me. Um, we're doing some spraying back on the bench for a week. Uh, here's a couple pieces I just sprayed. I'm doing a lot of pro whites. I got a pro uh, 41V Master Red in the booth. But the Chevy Cruze is um, a small little job, kind of a typical collision job. Uh, right here, we've got a little blow in I just did. You gotta blend the clear back mask up here. Uh, you get um, it's a lot of dealer work, so sometimes it's used car stuff that they want to do on the cheap, and then sometimes you get a job uh, looks something like this that uh, you got a bigger budget for, and uh, has to be done to perfection. So that's what we're doing on this one. One coat of base on there. Let's rewind things and uh, get this one started. Okay, so we got this Chevy Cruze Blue WA418B, I believe. And it required a specialty toner, so I had to wait um, for it to come in. So it's been sitting here all morning, and I finally got to spray it. So I've just got my sealer on. It calls for a white brown coat. And basically, I'm going to blend out the white and then get the blue on top. So I chose to use that as a sealer. And <coughs> for the first time ever, I've actually tried using some blender in there to get rid of that edge. I saw Gabe on Motivated Painters do it. I've heard of it before, but this is the first time I've actually tried it. It, it seems to have worked uh, quite well, actually. Let's just rub our tack cloth over that. It seems pretty smooth, a very nice transition there. I think that's the ticket moving forward. Keep going with that, but uh, we're gonna rock the Walcom HTE base gun here and get that first coat on right now. Cheap method in place. Oh yeah. So this is the guy here, it's a special pearl that's new from, I think it's used mostly in GM, it's called Cosmic Violet, so um, this is just in the BASF line, and uh, when you go into it, it'll actually pop up and tell you, that's a special base that you're going to likely have to order if you haven't yet. So typically when they have pearls that aren't used in a lot of different formulas, they have an S in front of them, a special crystal base. And then if it becomes mainstream, they'll drop the S and it'll just be a crystal base and then uh, it'll just be like any other toner.
Okay, so we can sort of see the blend after the last coat. So um, that wet bed seemed to tie everything in pretty well. We're gonna give it an effect coat now. Um, I knew this color was gonna be a little tricky, which is why I chose water over the solvent. But it's taking a little long to flash because the humidity here is off the friggin' charts. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our base coat down. Blend it out beautifully. There's a trickier color. Some of these blues are deceptively difficult to blend out. But uh, we got this one looking good. The Specialty Pro may not help the situation, but anyway, it's looking good. Let that flash off for another 15 minutes and get some clear on that. Okay, here's to finish off the gun. Now this is RM's DC 21 NB, so it's an ambient production clear. So they're not typically known for their incredible high gloss, and you know they'll tend to die back a little bit more than like a glamour clear would. But uh, it's gonna dry in a hurry and get out, so I get the next one in. Daily drivers, most domestic cars, it's gonna be a, a pretty, you know, pretty standard finish. It's gonna look like factory. And on the other side here, I brought this one in since I started the other. And uh, I painted this one yesterday, but whoever cut in the door a few days ago missed this edge here, so you can see the red from the used door. So we just touch that up real quick. And uh, yeah, I got another load in the other booth, so let's go have a look in there. Right now we've got this bumper here. It's a mass, I put some sealer on it. And then I noticed a few scratches there that I had to stop and wet sand. And I'm gonna hit that with um, some, well it's 41V, so it is a red tri-coat. Sole red metallic, not quite as hard as the 46V I've shown in the past. I've got a couple of different silvers. Odds and ends that keep coming in, so trying to load the booth up as much as you can, but we're pretty well caught up on paintwork, so this is what we've got in for now. 
Um, so you know what, I'll give you guys a look at this Trico Red going down. How's that sound? So it's got um, like a pinkish ground coat. Sometimes this is a, a tougher color to blend because the ground coat likes to fly down the panel and it's tough just to keep it small. So if this ground coat, when you're blending it out, goes down the panel, then you have to cover it with the mid coat, which is gonna be, I think, just a, just a transparent dye. But uh, it's been a while since I shot this color, so We'll find uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. So here's the the first go for now. So we're gonna go two and a half on there, and then as a trico, we'll have to match one of our letdown panels we've already made. Mm -hmm. 